Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to share with you some of my extensive vintage book collection. Now I have shared with you some of my other uh, books that I use in journals, but those have been uh, mostly nature and botanical themed. These are other vintage books that I like to use. So I have been collecting these books for the, these types of books anyway, for the past few years. And so um, I do have a, a nice collection to share with you guys. So I do like to buy in sets and I'm going to share that with you as we go along. So I'm doing the voiceover because the original video was like an hour long, an hour plus long, you guys. And I know that you don't want to have to sit here through all of that. So I'm going to uh, break these videos up and do it that way. So you guys, there are books that are behind these two stacks. There are books um, on the other side of this stack here. Over there. Um, there are books behind this stack. There are books behind that stack. And there are books on the other side of this stack. There are also books on the floor beside me because I was just pulling books off the shelves um, of the ones that I wanted to share with you. I also have these ledgers here before you that you see. So when I purchase these books, you guys, like I was saying, I I myself like to purchase multiple sets because um, some I may want to keep for personal use. And if I see a book, I'll buy the same as exact year. And then I'll have one that I can keep for my um, personal collection, like I said. Um, like the Edith Holden books, I have still 20 plus of those books after giving some away and selling some. So, yeah, that's why I'm able to use them so frequently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and break the videos up and just do like a short videos on some of the sets that I have. And we're going to start with this one. So when I purchased the um, French letters from France, you guys, I also um, ordered these books. I can't remember the name of the shop. She um, Terry told me about this lady. So, of course, I had to go and order a bunch of stuff, but I would. Um, anyway, I don't want to make a long video. So these are just some cute little um, books that came from France. They are fairly old. I don't know if I can find a, a copyright date on them. Yeah, I didn't think so. I haven't looked at these in a while. They just um, sit up on my shelf. But they're nice little books. There are three to this set. And um, perhaps I'll go in and add them to a digital because I love the covers on them. So there's that. I don't want to take too long. Like I said, I want short videos so that I can upload it. And then I have this fourth reader um, copyright 1897. No, 1887. Oops. You guys, I can't see. That's 1857. Let's open it up and see. Okay, copyright 1855. So that says 1857 on there. And this is just really cute. Um, I will probably only make a, a um, digital of the cover or just make it, you know, add that to a, a kit because I like that. What I love about this book, you guys, I really don't like um, the smaller journals I, or I didn't. But holding this in my hand like this, this is a really nice size to have just a journal to carry around. Okay, so um, that's why I wanted to show that with you guys or share that with you. It doesn't really have anything that really pops off of a page, um, you know. So um, that's why probably just to make a picture of the cover. So I have these and this is the main, this is the part of the video for this one. So these I'm including as a set. <coughs> Excuse me. They're not all the same, but they are familiar familiar they are similar so that's why i'm sharing them with you as this set okay this one is the ladies wreath and it was copyrighted 1852 or the 1852 edition this one is parlor annual and these are, are pretty similar um in the name at least parlor annual and this one is the family circle and parlor annual 1849 so that's why as you can see. So let's jump in here and I really want to share these with you guys. So these are some really nice books. Um, I will have digitals eventually, you guys, um, over these um, books and images in here. But if you guys, everything is time. So anyway, let me jump in here and share with you um, what's on the inside of these beauties. 
So this is what I'm talking about. These are just some lovely images. Let's see if I can do this correctly. Okay, yeah, so 1849. I even like all of this setup. So I'm gonna do a flip and showcase. There's, there's not, um, you're not going to get images on every single page, but when you do get them, they're just lovely. Lovely vintage images. And then you get the black and white illustration. And so that's how these books are laid out. You get um, um, the color image of the flower or the birds, and then you get like a black and white photo illustration. And there's that one. And like I said, these are parlor annuals if you are interested in trying to purchase these. And so um, with a lot of my sets, you guys, um, I think I've said that in, but I'll probably do a voiceover on that, the, um, the older video. I purchase in multiples because um, I like to use the, uh, um, the original in my um, journals, but I also, if the book is lovely enough, I like to keep it for my own personal collection. collection. Now you guys, some of you are gonna know that that of course is gonna be my um, favorite in this book so far, the purple and yellow flower. And then nice illustrations. Okay, so that's pretty much what you're going to get with these books. I am going to show you the others because, um, you know, the other images. But look at that. And I just love these vintage images, you guys. So you get quite a few. I'm, I'm, if you see a blank page, like if I'm flipping and you see a blank page, that's because there's an illustration and a flower there with that. So you can kind of get a gist of exactly how many are in um, these books. There's that one. And this one, the poor thing, um, lovely covers, but of course it's falling apart on me. And this one is 1848. So you have 1849 and 1848. So let's open to the back of it and let's do a flip. That's the back of it. Uh, that back page. Women of America, that I'm sure is very interesting for the time period. So your first illustration right there. Now, isn't that just gorgeous? And then it pops. So with this one... You can see the layout. You get the illustration, then you get the flower, and then you get a music page, I think. I know you didn't, okay. So we didn't get that there. You get the illustration, the flower, and the music uh, page. And so I'm just going to flip through and let's see another lovely image. There's a flower there somewhere. Just love these images, you guys. look at that so as you can see these will make nice images to add to a digital set which is what I plan to do I am working on a digital trying to finish it up um, it's one that I was working on as I was doing the um, Rosalind's solo and so it was kind of hard because I had to cut it off to start working on the journals and um, I had to get back in the groove of that theme but anyway, now look at that and look at the birds. Okay, so quickly flipping through scripture, natural history, of course. The bull, the Indian love, 
whatever that was, lilac and rose. So anyway, you can see how lovely this book is. Really nice, really nice. And this is the last one, and it is my favorite, hence why I kept it last instead of first. And it is Ladies' Wreath, um, 1852 there. And it's about to come apart as well. Look at that lovely handwriting. So, first image you start out with, our first image is just, I love that. So that could be the name of the kit. And it is 1852 still. Okay, so let me kind of flip through here and share this one with you guys. Paradise Before the Fall. Nice little poem to read. And you guys can probably see why this is my favorite. Lovely hibiscus, I believe. Yep. My hibiscus is still uh, still thriving and uh, blooming, you guys. Just remember to um, mist it, keep it watered because they are tropical plants. But anyway, we're not trying to talk about all of that. Okay, now look at that. Look at more images. Okay, so this is pretty much it, you guys. So if you are interested, you see what these books are. Um, I don't believe that they were uh, too inexpensive. Um, not for sure, because there weren't very many when I was looking for them. But I'm sure I didn't pay, you know, I didn't cut my arm off <laughs> just to pay for them. Feminine power. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. I think that'll be the last other than what I've shown you already. And that's just lovely. Child amid the flowers. Okay, you guys. So that's going to conclude these videos so that I can upload them. And, um... I'll move on in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Oh yes, have a wonderful morning, evening, or night, wherever you are. <laughs>